Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Genmax 10,500 Tri-Fuel. All right, we're gonna be testing this generator on the RV. We're gonna be doing it on propane. Instead of using a tank, I'm gonna use, utilize the RV's tank because I have this uh, quick connect right here. It goes to my propane tank. That's my propane tank right here. So instead of um, using a propane tank, I'm gonna use the one that comes with the RV. So I don't have to use the small 15 pounders or anything. I have a full tank of RV propane ready to go. So if you're using this on your fifth wheel motorhome, anything where you have uh, two or three ACs, most of you guys I know have three 15,000 BTU AC or two 15,000 BTU AC and one 13.5. This thing right here is gonna help you a lot because let's look at the ratings. On gas, we get 10,500 starting, 8,500 running. On propane, you're getting 9,500 starting, 8,000 watts running. That's better than the 9,000 on propane. On natural gas, you're getting 8,400 starting and 6,800 running. So that's the Genmax Tri-Fuel. Guys, let's hook it up. I'm gonna use uh, this monitor so I can monitor the loads from the inside. Also, you don't have to worry about monitoring your loads because the Genmax comes with a full display right here. All right, so you don't have to use this, but I wanna show you guys what I'm doing on the inside. I'm gonna use this and this and the cell phone to monitor it on the inside. So I don't have to keep coming in and out. That's our selector right here. You have propane, natural gas, and gas. This is the inlet. So one thing you have to get is this inlet right here is not a quick connect. So the ones we're gonna use to connect to the RV quick connect, I got this connector right here. So this will plug into the RV, the quick connect. And then this side has another quick connect that will go to the generator. But since the generator does not have the appropriate connection, use this adapter. You see how this is round and beveled right here? You have to get the exact same one. So I'm just gonna put this right here. It screws right on. I'll put the link if you guys want to do this, if you end up getting one of these generators. All right, there you go. So you just put this like that. So since they have the same uh, uh, connector, you don't have to use any kind of sealant, okay? Because this is something you're gonna be taking on and off. Then you just come right here and you can quick connect to this. And then you have your open and close valve right here come to the RV get your connect right here and we're gonna connect to that quick connect there's also a valve right here I have to open and close so I can come over here and open this come back over here and open this valve push forward then I'm gonna go to propane, turn on my power. I already opened my propane tank, so I'll just hit start. Let's turn off eco mode. It's gonna do a hard start because this, all this air in this has to come out, so. leg and you can see right here so what I'm gonna do is go inside 
hook the RV up and we're gonna turn on everything in this 50 amp RV. So we'll be able to see what we're running on both legs, okay? Hopefully this stays connected while I'm inside. generator and Okay, we're on the inside of the RV. Let's turn all the lights on. Uh, we have every light on. Like I told you, we're pulling 14 on one leg and 188 on the other leg. First thing we're gonna do is turn the refrigerator on. Let's see if I can get the surge from the refrigerator. All right, here we go. Hope you guys saw that. So the refrigerator is on this leg. Come over here. We're gonna turn on the uh, both ACs. AC one, AC two. AC1 jumped up to surge that 900. Still waiting on the second AC. All right, there you go. Surge that. All right, so we have two ACs running. I forgot to show you guys. Right here, pure sine wave on this generator. Pure sine wave inverter, absolutely zero distortion. You can see right here we have two AC running all the lights. Next thing we're gonna turn all the TVs on. So let's just go back outside right now and do a quick DV test. We've already pulled 0.1 kilowatt hour from this generator we're running on propane. Let's turn on the water heater. 
we come right here and turn on the electric water heater right here so it's on this leg right here so you have one AC and one water heater going 2600 on one leg and 1140 on the other leg so now we have the two AC refrigerator and the water heater I'm gonna turn on all the TVs not a lot of power but we're just gonna turn everything on one TV right here TV. Small TV up here. Next thing I'm gonna do is turn on this stove. Let's okay. I'm gonna come over here and turn this on. On and heat. Okay, we're pulling 3,300 on this one. So I told you we'll do a 50%. This is right at 50% because you have all right, let's do it. Let's do a DB test at 50%. Let me let this thing heat and then we'll come back. Still at 67.6. This one went up now. Guys, we're pulling over 50 amps already. As you can see, this is a 50 amp RV and we're already maxed out. 25 amps over here, 26.9 over here. If you have a 50 amp RV and you're trying to use this generator, it's a lot of generator. You're, you're only going to be at 50%. Let's turn this on I'm just I got the ACs on and I'm gonna turn this heater on Pulling 33 amps on this side, 24 amps on that side. Okay. Let's turn this, turn that off. Turn this off. Come over here. Turn the both AC off. And the water heater refrigerator off turn that heater off all the TVs off
So this thing pulled a pure sine wave the entire way, all the way up to 7,000 watts on propane. And it never got over 70 dBs. All right, so can't wait to see what it does on gas. If it can do that on propane, I'm just gonna be really surprised what it can do on gas. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to hook it up to my home to pull more than 7,000 watts because this is a 50 amp RV. I went way over 50 amps. All right, everything's off. Now I can come over here. And since you have a main right here, you can just shut that off. I just want to show you guys that it is running on this right here. I'm going to turn this off. You see the generator will stop. Since this is tri-fuel, we're going to be hooking up to the natural gas and test it on the house. All right could not max it out I turned everything on zero hiccup absolutely no problem zero surging zero problems with this generator you have a 10,500 watt inverter you're not gonna have any problem running a 50 amp RV guys thanks for watching my videos I really appreciate you guys that push that subscribe button and help the channel grow if you have not subscribed guys please just push that subscribe button i know you're watching the videos i have less than six percent of people that watch my videos subscribe so help me we're almost there at twenty thousand. um help me get there let me keep putting videos like this out for you guys so if you guys waiting for this generator the gen max 10,500 tri-fuel it will be available on gavinsgarage.com so stay tuned for that can't wait for it to be available and just always just check down in the link in the description so you can see the links of stuff that i use so everything i use in the, in the video i usually just put it down in the description so you can go down there and check it out right, guys thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the other test we're going to be testing this on natural gas i know you guys know what it's going to do on gas so maybe i'll do a max load test on gas all right let's uh wrap this video up let me get all this stuff out there and thanks for watching and have a great day bye